Today we bring you 20 NMC Medicine Licensing Pass Questions, Solve with Rationale. Do not forget to subscribe to Elite Nurses channel and also feel free to comment your thoughts below. Question 1 says, A 60-year-old woman has pain on motion in her fingers and asks the nurse whether this results from aging. The best response by the nurse should include what information? A. Joint pain with functional limitation is a normal change that affects all people to some extent. B. Joint pain that develops with age is usually related to previous trauma or infection of the joints. C. Changes in the cartilage and bones of joints may cause symptoms of pain and loss of function in some people as they age. The correct answer is C. The reason is that cartilage destruction in the joints affects the majority of those affected by the age of 40 and when the destruction becomes symptomatic, osteoarthritis, OA, is said to be present. Degenerative changes cause symptoms after age 50 or 60, but more than half over age 65 have X-ray evidence of osteoarthritis. Joint pain and functional disability should not be considered a normal finding in aging persons. Osteoarthritis is not a systemic disease, but is usually caused by a known event or condition that directly damages cartilage or causes joint instability. 2. What type of brain injury is characterized by a momentary loss of consciousness? A. Concussion B. Epidural hematoma C. Subdural hematoma Correct answer A. Concussion Rationale A concussion is a type of brain injury that causes a momentary loss of consciousness. 3. What should be avoided in the management of an unconscious patient to prevent respiratory depression? A. Diazepam B. Four fluids C. Morphine Answer. C. Morphine Rationale. Morphine should be avoided as it depresses respiration and interferes with the level of consciousness. If you are not in our Telegram group, kindly join and let us learn together. Check link in the description box. Question 4. What is a common symptom of post-concussional syndrome? A. Increased intracranial pressure B. Seizures. C. Sensation of heat or pressure in the head. Answer. C. Sensation of heat or pressure in the head. Rationale. Post-concussional syndrome often includes symptoms like sensation of heat or pressure in the head, irritability, or anxiety. 5. Which type of skull fracture involves the base of the skull? A. Linear fracture. B. Comminuted fracture. C. Basilar fracture. Answer C. Basilar fracture. Rationale. A basilar fracture involves the base of the skull. 6. What is the typical management for a scalp hematoma? A. Immediate surgery. B. Conservative management. C. High-dose antibiotics. Answer B. Conservative management. Rationale. Scalp hematomas are managed conservatively and typically absorbed within 1 to 10 weeks. 7. Which factor is assessed by asking about retrograde amnesia? A. Current symptoms. B. Ability to remember events before the injury. C. Recovery progress. Answer B. Ability to remember events before the injury. Rationale. Retrograde amnesia refers to the ability to remember events that occurred before the injury. 8. What is the Glasgow Coma Scale, GCS, used to assess? A. Blood pressure. B. Level of consciousness. C. Pupil size. Answer. B. Level of consciousness. Rationale. The Glasgow Coma Scale, GCS, is used to assess the level of consciousness. 9. What is most likely to cause the pain experienced in the later stages of osteoarthritis? A. Crepitation. C. Heberden's nodes. C. Bone surfaces rubbing together. The correct answer is C. The reason is that, the pain in later osteoarthritis is caused by bone surfaces rubbing together after the articular cartilage has deteriorated. Crepitation occurs earlier in the disease with loose particles of cartilage in the joint cavity. Bouchard's nodes and Heberden's nodes are tender but occur as joint space decreases and as early as 40 years of age. 10. Which description is most characteristic of osteoarthritis, OA? when compared to rheumatoid arthritis, RA. 
not systemic or symmetric. B. Most commonly occurs in women. C. Rheumatoid factor RF positive. The correct answer is A. The reason is that OA is not systemic or symmetric. Morning joint stiffness resolves in about 30 minutes. Rheumatoid arthritis RA is rheumatoid factor RF positive and characterized by being systemic and affecting small joints symmetrically. Morning joint stiffness lasts 60 minutes to all day. 11. A client reports to the ward with symptoms of sweating, tremor, palpitations, nausea, and pallor. The nurse suggests the use of an oral hypoglycemic agent. In which of the following conditions are oral hypoglycemic agents typically indicated? Select 1. Obesity. B. Type 1 diabetes. C. Type 2 diabetes. The answer is C. Rationale. Oral hypoglycemic agents are used to lower blood glucose levels and are indicated for managing type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is characterized by insulin resistance and relative insulin deficiency, which can often be managed with oral medications that improve insulin sensitivity or stimulate insulin secretion. In contrast, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition that results in the destruction of insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas, requiring insulin therapy rather than oral hypoglycemic agents. Obesity alone without diabetes does not warrant the use of oral hypoglycemic agents. 12. Of the following signs, which one is the nurse most likely to notice first when a patient is developing digitalis toxicity? Select 1. Heart murmur. B. Slow pulse rate. C. Slow respiratory rate. Answer B. Rationale. Digitalis toxicity often presents initially with cardiac symptoms, particularly bradycardia, a slow pulse rate. The nurse is most likely to notice a slow pulse rate first because digitalis, digoxin, increases vagal tone and decreases heart rate. Heart murmurs and changes in respiratory rate are less common initial indicators of digitalis toxicity. 13. Which of the following dietary modifications is allowed for patients with ascites and hepatic dysfunction? Select 1. High sodium low protein. B. High protein low carbohydrate. C. High carbohydrate low sodium. Answer Z. Rationale. For patients with ascites and hepatic dysfunction, a diet high in carbohydrates and low in sodium is recommended. This regimen helps manage fluid retention associated with ascites by reducing sodium intake and provides sufficient energy through carbohydrates without exacerbating protein metabolism and potential hepatic encephalopathy risks. High sodium diets can worsen fluid retention, and low carbohydrate diets are not typically recommended for these patients. 14. An individual who lives at a high altitude may normally have an increased red blood cell count because Select 1. A. Impaired production of leukocytes and platelets leads to proportionally higher red blood cell count. B. High altitudes cause vascular fluid loss leading to hemoconcentration. C. Hypoxia caused by decreased atmospheric oxygen stimulates erythropoiesis. The correct answer is C. Rationale. Hypoxia caused by decreased atmospheric oxygen stimulates erythropoiesis. At high altitudes, the lower atmospheric oxygen levels lead to hypoxia, which in turn stimulates the production of erythropoietin by the kidneys. This hormone promotes the production of red blood cells, erythropoiesis, in the bone marrow to enhance the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood, thereby compensating for the reduced oxygen availability. 15. A patient with acute heart failure has been positioned upright with the legs dangling over the side of the bed. In acute heart failure, this position affects the following except. Select 1. A. Decreases venous return. B. Lowers output of the right ventricle. C. Reduces arterial blood pressure. The correct answer is B. Rationale. Lowers output of the right ventricle. Positioning a patient upright with legs dangling helps to decrease venous return to the heart and reduce arterial blood pressure, alleviating the workload on the heart. However, it does not specifically lower the output of the right ventricle. 16. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged in the lungs by Select 1. 
A. Active transport. B. Diffusion. C. Osmosis. The correct answer is B. Rationale. Diffusion. Gas exchange in the lungs occurs by diffusion, where oxygen moves from the alveoli into the blood and carbon dioxide moves from the blood into the alveoli, following their respective concentration gradients. 17. According to the ABO blood grouping system, which blood type is considered the universal donor? Select 1. A. A negative. B. O negative. C. A. B negative. The correct answer is B. Rationale. Individuals with O negative blood type are considered universal donors because their red blood cells do not have A, B, or RH antigens, which can potentially trigger an immune response in the recipient. 18. Paracentesis is the removal of fluid, ascites, from the select one. A. Pleural cavity. B. Peritoneum. C. Peritoneal cavity. The correct answer is C. Rationale. Peritoneal cavity. Paracentesis is a procedure used to remove fluid from the peritoneal cavity, which can accumulate in conditions such as ascites. 19. The generic name for aspirin is select 1. A. Salicylic acid. B. Sodium salicylic acid. C. Acetyl salicylic acid. The correct answer is C. Acetyl salicylic acid. Rationale. Aspirin is commonly known by its generic name, acetyl salicylic acid, which is a compound derived from salicylic acid. 20. Clinical features of pulmonary emphema include I. Chronic cough 2. Increasing shortness of breath 3. Production of copious purulent sputum 4. Wheezing respirations. Select 1. A. 1, 2, 3, and 4. B. 1, 2 and 3. C. 1, 2 and 4. The correct answer is B. 1, 2 and 3. Rationale. The clinical features of pulmonary emphema typically include a chronic cough, increasing shortness of breath, and the production of copious purulent sputum. Wheezing respirations are not a characteristic feature of emphema. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.